They're all ready. And uh, when sprinting, got the way to a lovely start. Successful secret broke the line first. War Queen is handy in the early stages. So to Siberian Steel. Pen Dragons towards the outside. COVID operator and then Bomb Bomb with Samoa. And out back is Axel Collins, whose race is about six, seven lengths off the leader. Heading down into the last 600 metres. War Queen's up towards the outside. Siberian Steel's down the centre. Successful secret along the inside. Then came Pen Dragon towards the outside covert operator Samoa's three four lengths to go Axel Collins further back in the field and then came Bomb Bomb 300 meters left to go on the outside Pendragon with War Queen covert operator Siberian Steel successful secret then comes Bomb Bomb Samoa looking for a way through but it's Pendragon War Queen covert operators coming home hard down the center with Siberian Steel it's covert operator from Siberian Steel inside the final 100 and covert operator won it covert operator went on to beat Siberian Steel Pendragon, then came Bomb Bomb and Samoa, locked in battle. War Queen was further back with Successful Secret. Behind that a spectacular, uh, Successful Secret rather, and Axel Collins. Wasn't at the races today. That awkward action of his down the centre, you'll see he's all legs as uh, Axel Collins, but he didn't enjoy the going out there today, I don't think. It's gone to COVID operator for Johan Janssen van Furen. It was bred by Lawrence and his pal Harry Wilson. And COVID operator looked in uh, the peak of condition today, and he's won it well. Well, Johan Janssen van Furen said he had won in the comments that I read out uh, before the race, and he's won. Covert operator, son of Coup de Grande, Gavin Lorena. Well done to the uh, winning connections. That's uh, JF and LMF Verners, and also Tessa Verners, uh, bred by Lawrence Verners, and also Harry Wilson. So that's win number five. He looked the part today. I mean, in terms of all the other times you've ridden him, how did he feel compared to the others, even when he has won? Yeah, like once or twice, he's felt a bit too burly. Uh, he's such a big horse, but um, he looks in great shape today. He looked nice and firm, and, and uh, it was a great win. Has he become a little bit more versatile? Because he was a hostage to fortune the way that he, he was, you know, six months ago. Maybe at the going, maybe the quicker goings helped him be a little bit more versatile. But are more options now for a jockey that rides him? Yeah, look, I think he's just a horse that needs a bit of cover. Um, but not coming from ridiculous positions like he was? No, look, I mean, it's, uh, when I won on him two starts ago, I came from a long way back. But, uh, you know, it all depends how the race works out for him. Um, you know, it's, it's where he's happy. I mean, today I was two, two, two and a half lengths off, but he was travelling comfortable. So it's where he's happy, and he'll give you that finish. Well, he's come a long, long way. I mean, more times than not after his maiden, even, is there more to come? Maybe, but, you know, five-time winner, he's, he's, he's outdone himself. Yeah, he's an amazing horse, and, uh, you know, he's uh, the, 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 the stable favourite. Um, he's the lead pony in the morning, and he's just got good, such good manners about him. Well done, Gaff. Thank you. Well done to Mr. Werners and the family, to Johan. Well done. <laughs> And to Vogelbosch of Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Gavin. <laughs> um, here's Johan Janssen van Furen, the winning trainer. Are you in a better mood now? A mm, little bit. A <laughs> little bit better. I didn't enjoy the drive here. There was traffic. Mm. On this the is your neck of the woods. I mean, there, there's, there's your house oh, from... I was actually more that way, but... Yeah, yeah happier. Happier. I went off um, yeah. um, my lead pony, yeah, so, yeah, we're very happy that... Um, I own half of his brother, we saw to Mauritius, and he never won anything, so, um, yeah, anyway, happy. How rapt are you that he's actually won five times? Remember after his maiden? I can't believe it. Yeah, I mean, we were saying, oh, can he go on maybe win one or two yeah. more, but he's, he's, he's a racehorse now. Yeah, when he won his second win, I thought, that's our chop, and then he won three and four, and when he won his fourth start, it was unbelievable to me, and yet today, but mind you, we're running as the same horses, and it is winter field, so I think the three olds will come out come through sooner than later and um, will probably smack us, but he's done really well. So, <laughs> yeah. The rod's the rod, the rod, the been good. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, look, you, you're glowing. It's almost like you yeah. won a group race. I love this horse. Shame, man. He's such a, he's a, just a great horse, yeah. Being a good day. You obviously missed uh, Viva Spirit earlier on. That was a, 
not your style to run from that draw, but obviously Gavin twisted your arm, turned out to be the right call. How impressed were you with that one? Um, listen, he's a nice horse, and we're sitting with a couple of three-year-olds that's ready to go, and there aren't enough races. And Gavin worked him on Monday, and I said, Gavin, I don't want to go. And he said to me, Aunt, please just trust me, you have to run this horse. His work is winning work, and he'll do the rest. Um, I was worried that he wasn't going to come out of the stalls because he did that the turf the last time, um, and that we get at the back of the field. I wasn't worried about the horse working or anything. I was just worried that he doesn't jump and get too far back. But anyway, listen, it all worked out. We get days it works out like today. Saturday, past Saturday, we had five seconds. It didn't work out for us. So, um, yeah, we take it with both hands. And, and just great riding by Gavin today. I thought he gave Viva Spirit a really good ride. Um, and I thought he gave, he just understands this horse. So you've you got to ride this horse hard because he runs in snatches if you watch the replay. He doesn't, he doesn't just give it to you. You've got to actually, he's got it and he will give it to you, but you've got to make him give it to you. So, um, yeah, thank you to Gavin and um, Lawrence. And all the other owners, Rakesh and Lance, and sorry I couldn't make it earlier, but I was at work and then I ran to gym quickly. I mean... Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guns don't... Yeah. They, it's not Kukuya. They don't mm. ground sun and water. they got to go train. So, yeah, I had a quick gym session and then I was going to make it anyway, so I yeah. thought I might as well make the best of my off time and then I took a drive here. So happy. Well, the drive back is going to feel like it's 10 minutes long. Well done. Thank you. Well done to Johan. Um, yeah, I've just uh, seen all the sides of Johan in the space of two minutes. Grumpy Johan, happy Johan, gymming Johan, driving Johan. Uh, every version of Johan has uh, just been here over the last five minutes.